हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक माई यूट्यूब चैनल सेल्स फोर्स हंट दिस इज रोहित एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हैप्पी न्यू ईयर टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड एन्जॉय योर ईयर आई होप सो एंड वेलकम बैक अगेन इन दिस चैनल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न समथिंग न्यू इन दिस चैनल सो प्लीज लाइक शेयर कमेंट्स एंड ऑल्सो सब्सक्राइब द चैनल फॉर मोर अपडेट सो यू नेवर बी मिस एनी काइंड ऑफ अपडेट फ्रॉम माई साइड सो लेट गट इज स्टार्टेड विदाउट एनी फर्डर डिले सो टू डे एजेंडा इज हाउ टू यूज द नल कोलेसिंग operator so this is the spring 24 new feature in the apex so you have to learn this things because it's a very most important concept and very most important operator you have to use in this apex or spring 24 release so without any further ado so let's get started again so here so first of all you have to logged in into your pre release or spring 24 or 24 and uh, i just logged in into this org so how to use this null coalescing operator so you can use this coalescing operator very easy using double question mark so let me tell you the first uh, what is this null coalescing operator how to use it everything i will show you here so this so here this question mark is called is coalescing null operator so this operator return the left hand uh, argument if the left hand argument is not null otherwise it's return the right hand argument similar to the save navigator operator like question mark and dot the null coalescing operator is a double question mark replace verbs and explicitly check for the null references in the code we deliver this features thank to you idea exchange of the salesforce right so where we can use this change apply to the all addition it may be like addition developer addition developer enterprise professional uh, unlimited addition so every addition we it impacted this feature so you can use it so how to use it the null coalescing operator is a binary operator in the form of this double question mark okay and uh, that's written a if uh, i will show you the example in this video so you can stay tuned in this video okay so how to use it very easy and very simple way you have to open your developer console so here you can see the developer console so now this is my developer console here uh, let me open the uh, anonymous window so here you can see this is the anonymous window and we can use this anonymous window here so how to use it Uh, here the example so let me write some code for this null coalescing operator so first of all let me create two variables is an integer type here integer let's say num1 equal to 100 and another variable is integer integer num2 and it's uh, having 200 value and uh, let me tell you how to use it very simple just system dot debug so i have created two variables here just let me print out here select so system dot debug and you have to use your variable slm2 and then double question mark this is the nullable coalescing operator so here uh, it, you have to use like second variable and just question mark and the same colon and then just let me execute this code and you will be see the so let me click on this debug only here so you so once we write this code here once we write this code here so it will be print here let's say num1 value it's a 100 value so you will be see the 100 value here so i already told you like left side left hand side argument if the left hand argument is not null otherwise to return the right hand. so it's not null that's why you can see the 100 let me tell you the another scenario let's say integer num3 and this time i'm not assigning any value of this variable and here let me create another integer variable uh, num4 it's having like 400 value so in this time i want to print this num3 and num4 uh, using this uh, null level collapsible right so null coalescing operator so just let me print out here this uh, system dot debug and then num3 and then double question mark and num4 okay like num4 here so you will be see the output as a, you know it's a null so you will be see the output as a 400 okay so in the developer console or debug log you will be see the 400 so let me highlighted this code 
let me click on this execute highlighted and you will be see like 400 output in this you know debug log so just click on this debug only and now you can see the 400 here so this is the very most important concept in the this spring 24 release for the apex so you have to learn this thing so no need worry about every time you have to check like if condition and something like that just uh, you can avoid this if conditions uh, for the null checking like uh, not null something like that so based on this uh, that condition you can use this latest one okay so this is how we can use this null coalescing operator in this apex or in this release spring 24 so you can use it and you can try yourself i hope you learn something new in this video if you feel like this is a very more informative for us so please like share comments and also subscribe the channel for more updates so you never be miss any kind of update from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys